Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome and thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm sharing an art journal page with you. And this is my Pooh Dahlia page. You know that I lost my Pooh Bear this spring and my friend Katie gave me these Pooh Dahlias. That's the name of them. And I planted them in the front yard and this was the very first one that bloomed right after the wildfire smoke cleared. So I just thought it was fitting to make a an art journal page with maybe a not too perfect flower, but it was the very first one. So I took some pens and I wrote on here and I have a tendency to tell once upon a time stories. Once upon a time, there was a little dog who was terrified of everything and we brought her home and we loved her. You get the idea. I tell Wilson stories like that all the time too. So I took some pens and I wrote on this and then I grabbed some yellow paints, one of my favorites I got at Salvation Army. Then I picked a stencil and used some modeling paste that I got as a sample at a class. Then I looked around and I couldn't find any red paint. I could only find like bright red and then I thought, well, maybe I could mix it. And that didn't seem like something I really had the talent for. Then I found a scribble stick and it's a fairly dark one but then I had trouble because I'm not patient enough and I didn't let the page dry so then I have stenciling paste wet paint and I'm trying to get enough color to lay down if you have scribble sticks and you want a lot of color what you need to do is take the end of it and soak it in a cup for long enough to chat or ask somebody to lunch that's what Dina does and then color with it that's what I should have done in the first place but it worked out then I got out my sprays and I was going to use some of the cheddar, the orange. I just went through my miscellaneous products and looked for products in the right colors. Then that nozzle was giving me a heck of a time. I stopped to clean it. I couldn't get more than a stripe out of it. So those Dina sprays, the glossy sprays, they those bottles just fight me. Then somewhere along the way I turned off the camera and I wanted... A big pool of embossing powder in this I had in a recent thing of a gift there was this chunky old embossing powder and I wanted to try it and I just sort of had a vision for how this page was going to be I had thought about making a page with this dahlia but then this came to me so while I struggle with this embossing powder I'm going to tell you a story and it the embossing powder is kind of spraying all over the counter making a giant mess but I wanted a big shiny accent for this flower like I had an idea of what I wanted but sometimes when you're newer in mixed media and you're trying all these products it doesn't always turn out the way you want right your reds aren't quite as red and your embossing powder flies all around the room instead of sticking down this powder says when it's hot and wet, you can stick more on top of it, which is probably true for just about any powder. So if I worked fast enough, it worked pretty well. Anyway, Pooh was a singer. She had Beagle in her and she would sing when she was happy. She would sing when she didn't get her way. She would sing when we left. And yesterday morning, for reasons I cannot possibly tell you because I tried to recreate it today and I couldn't get it, an alarm went off on my phone and Wilson looked at me and started singing and he sang like she taught him to sing and it was the sweetest thing ever and then he just looked at me and I sang with him for a little bit and we sat there and went oh, oh, oh. but I he doesn't sing he only sings for her and I know that because we have a camera that's motion sensitive and sound and I saw him when we would leave in the morning she would sing and then look at him and if he went and played with his toys right away instead of singing with her she would walk up to him and sing literally in his face so he learned that he had to sing for a minute then he could play with his toys and everything was fine but she was accustomed to singing and kind of having a fit when we left and she tried to teach him to do it, but mostly he just wanted to play with his toys or eat the beds. They had very different talents. So this is not a page about sadness. This is a page about hope and interest and how um, she kind of lives on in our household. 
you know, she's taught Wilson some good things and some bad things. And we have these flowers blooming in the front yard. Here, I wanted to cover the page with clear gesso because I had an idea and I was shocked that the food ball pen that I used to write once upon a time smeared. If you had asked me, I'm sure I've said in other videos that those things don't move. That sucker moved when I hit it with the clear gesso. The other paint pens are the Dilusions pens. The, the one I wrote the rest of the t smaller text with, I used a Dilusions pen. It was harder to write on that thick watercolor paper, but it didn't move. So I don't know, just I was surprised by it. Now, I just wanted to soften the white and the black. It was just not really the feeling that I had in mind for this page. And I didn't want it to be the same yellow paint that I had put down already. I wanted it to be something a little less bright and less interesting so the yellow and the red would still show. So I guess I did okay mixing. A little bit of yellow and a little bit of a cream colored paint. I thought about using like white to wash over it, but I didn't want it to be white. I just wanted it softer. Then I let it dry. This I let it dry overnight and then I am figuring out, okay, putting on the flower and you can see that it didn't really cover it up. It just, it just pushed that white into the background a little bit. Now I'm putting the glue right on the flower, which in general, I don't recommend. I would put it on the page. But my thought was over time, those petals might loosen. I flopped this journal around. So I kind of wanted each petal glued on. They might separate from each other, but they'll stay on the page. Then I stuck a little tiny bit of glue under the stem just because I didn't want it to catch on something. And then I'll give you a close up of the page. I think it's interesting. I like the modeling paste. I like the red paint that I found and hit it with. It has a lot of texture. I would have liked a bigger circle of the black. I should have stuck with it and I should have tipped the page more when I was doing it because it got super thick. It was kind of pooled on the page and it would have moved more had I thought to tip the page more. I, I didn't really think of that until later and I had that giant puddle, but I love the shine of that embossing powder. That's what I wanted. Not just the black accent. That's why I didn't use matte paint but I wanted shine to attract your eye and say, look at me. And I think that I got it. And it's kind of a, it's not really a perfect page, but you know, she wasn't really a perfect dog. I have a million funny poo stories. I actually have a blog about her because she was such a high anxiety dog and so hard on things, but just a really sweet dog. So there's my page. That's my Poo Dahlia page. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.